Is it daytime or nighttime? It's daytime. Daytime. Mm -hmm. What is happening? My grandpa died. Mm -hmm. And how old are you there? I don't know, maybe six or seven. Mm -hmm. We'll continue. What, what is happening now that your grandpa died? Tell me. You're there now. I'm just sad. Yes, feel that sadness now. Continue. Yes. That's it. I'm worried about my grandma. Mm -hmm. I don't know what she'll do without him. Yes. What is she saying? What is she doing? I don't know. Like I I think I'm at home and I'm, I'm, yeah. I'm not there. You're at home, but you're not there. Yeah, like at my home, but I'm not. You're with not with her. them. Yes. And how are you feeling when you're, you're at home and you're not able to be there with your grandma, as your grandpa just died? I just know she's always so anxious. Yes. I. He was always so calm. Yes. And I'm just worried about her. Yes. Just feel all of that now. Allow your body to feel that. Have you been able to say goodbye to your grandpa? No. No. I got to stay with them. Yeah for the first time by myself. Yes. And I remember he kept kind of tripping. So I was kind of concerned about him, but I thought he was fine. Yes. So let's do something. You're six, seven years old, and you have done this many times. I just want you to create this tunnel that you create every time you're gonna, you want to go somewhere. Create this tunnel from your solar plexus. And create and connect this tunnel to where your grandpa is right before his body is dying. You can travel in time and space. I want you to imagine that you're floating through that tunnel. Are you going to show up there where he is? Three two and one yeah there now and I want you to be there if you want to be floating he might see you he might not but you tell me what is happening where is your grandpa now where is he uh, his body is dying he's not there with the body Yes. Go move forward to the moment when he's still in the body. Go back in time. Mm. He's um, just peaceful. He's peaceful. Is it day or night? Can't tell. You cannot tell. Where is the body? On a bed? I think it's in a hospital. In a hospital. And who's there with him? Just doctors and nurses. And nurses. Yes. So I just want you to be there. I move forward a little bit to the moment his body dies. Let me know once his body dies. Dead. He's dead. And the body is dead, and you're gonna see your grandpa's soul coming out of the body. It already is. Yes. It's up in the. It's like in the ceiling of the ceiling. hospital room. And he might be confused. He might be 
trying to make sense of what he's seeing down there. I want you to communicate with him. Ask him if he's aware of what just happened to his body. He is. He is, yes. Ask him if, if he is afraid. He's not. He's not. He's ready. I'm ready. So what do you tell Grandpa how you have been feeling and how you have been concerned about him dying and leaving your grandma behind? See what, she's, what he says. He says Grandma has to learn to take care of herself. Yes. He says she's depended on him too much. So this is her journey, her lesson. Mm -hmm. As Grandpa, you should be feeling sad about that. He just says it's all a part of the plan and it's, it's all okay. It's all okay. You see, and Grandpa, you have Bibi there being upset, being concerned that her grandma is staying behind because she's always anxious. And you are the one that is always calm. Here's my question. What would you like, what message would you like to give Bibi? Because I see that in the future she will also feel anxious. How are you able to keep calm all the time, Grandpa? I, she knows that I rode my bike in the morning. Yes. She loves the early morning. And I sat out in the backyard by the stream for hours. Yes. She doesn't know how to just sit. She doesn't know how to just be. Mm. So what advice do you have for her? She says, she says she feels like she relates to my Danish roots. Yeah. And what does she mean by that? She, deep down, knows how to be peaceful and enjoy nature and sit and be. It's it's her name. It's who she is. It's who she is. What about her name? You said it's her name. It's just supposed to be. B. B. And B twice. B B. She just can't do it. Yes. It's interesting, Grandpa, that you mentioned the that she has your Danish roots. Because if you have Danish roots, that means that you come from the Vikings. Great warriors. And the Vikings never sat down to, to see what was going to come to them. Vikings were always anxious to go out and explore and conquer and do something. They were not able to sit still and wait to see what was going to happen, right? Yeah, that's more a grandmother who was like all Norwegian. I see. Good. So Grandpa, so just put a spark in her heart, in her soul. To allow her just to just be. Just be herself. Connect with herself. But most importantly, why do you help her remove this sadness from her heart, from 
the time your, your body passed away, your body died, but you know that your spirit, you never die. Will you remove that from her heart? Not sure how. Not sure how. Well, let's ask Bibi. Bibi, where have you been storing this sadness from your grandpa's passing? Where have you stored this in your body? I think I've, I think I've stored my grandma's anxiousness in I my head. I see, in your head. Mm -hmm. Very good. So as your grandpa is there, I want you to talk to your grandma. And tell her that today you need to give her back her anxiety because it never belonged to you. You made it yours when you worried about her when you were concerned about her. But the grandpa just explained that this is her journey, it's part of her learning. So I'm going to ask you a question. Will you allow a six-year-old girl to make a decision that is going to affect her when she gets to be 64, 65? No. No, let me give you this example. Let's say that at six years old, you decide to tattoo your face because it's it's cool. So you tattoo Mickey Mouse on one cheek, Minnie on the other cheek, Donald on the dog on the forehead. And after you tattoo your face, you go out to the streets to play with your friends. What are your friends going to tell you? Oh my God, this is so nice. You look adorable with those tattoos in your face. But as you're growing up, and it's time for you to go to work at hospitals or to start working with your own clients, and you showed up to them with tattoos of Mickey Mouse in your face, Minnie, on the other cheek, what would they tell you? He says, baby, what is that stuff in your face? That's ridiculous, that doesn't go according to your age. So, would you allow baby of six years old to make a decision that is going to affect her when she gets to be 64 or 65? No. Why not? Because she... Because she do not stay the same. Of course, and she doesn't know, and she doesn't have the experience, because she doesn't know the consequences of that decision, right? Right. Why would you allow a baby of six years old to put anxiety in her head that doesn't belong to her, that it belongs to her grandma? Does it make sense? Yeah. No, she would get out, get rid of it? Yes. Good. So now just talk to your grandma and explain to her that this is her anxiety, that today you need to give it back to her. Grandma, I've been holding this for a long time. Mm -hmm. I want to give it back. I want to let it go. I want you to take it back. Very good. I want you ready. Just give that back to your grandma and remove it from your head. Feels like there's a lot to gather up. Yes. So you can imagine that you become a microscopic particle and you can get into your brain and scan your brain and see where in your brain that anxiety has been stored and just take it out 
It's also my mother's. Yes. I will check that too. So for now, just remove what belongs to your grandma. Mm -hmm. It's like deep. Yes. And we're going to ask grandpa to help you and grandma as well. To take their, her anxiety from you. you can use light you can even imagine that you have a broom and you can sweep it off I think they're almost like vacuuming it up vacuuming it up oh perfect you let me know when grandpa's, and grandma's anxiety is gone it's yeah. like you think you have it and then it's kind of tricky there's it's like it slipped deep in the corners. Yes. To get it all out. There we go. I want to keep working on that. There we go. And I'm going to ask you one more question. At this moment, you're receiving the news that your grandpa's body died. Where is your soul, baby? When you receive the news right after you received the news. Where is my soul? Yes. Do you feel it's with you? Yeah, I feel it in my heart. It's still in your heart. Very good. So we're going to thank Grandpa for the communication today and for just explaining that you should not feel sad about his death and you should not worry about grandma because that's part of her journey, part of her learning. Would you like to say anything to grandpa before he goes back to the light? Yeah, thank you for... Thank you for helping me feel just your peace all through that process. Thing. Good. Your deep peace and your love. Thank you. And you can tell him that you want to honor him, get his peace. I do. And put it all over your body now. I do want you to. Good. Just like where I had grandma's, I want to hold your peace. I want you to fill me up with it. Yes. So touch his energy. Mm. And imprint that into your body. Remembering about the time he went on his bike, the time he went on his backyard for hours. Just feel calm, connect with you, connect with nature. As your father said, just be, be like your name. And with that connection with your grandpa, we're gonna go in to say bye to him. We're gonna thank him. Thank you. Very good. Now I am going to count from three to one. And I want you to go to the last time you felt anxious the last time. Three, two, and one. You are there now. What is happening? I just felt anxious in the bathroom here before I Mm hmm. Came to lay down. Very good. It just feels like in my body that 
don't know how to describe it, like, like everything is, um, speeded up. Mm-hmm. Like a racing. Yes. I feel a little bit of a, like, run. Mm-hmm. Um, I don't know, it feels like it's a, like a, um, like an alarm. Alarm, yes. And when you feel this alarm, what are your emotional reactions? Like it's alarming, I should be afraid mm-hmm. or scared. Like there's danger. Mm-hmm. Danger. There isn't any danger, and I, I want to be calm. Very good. So now when you. T- going to come from three to one and I want you to go back to the moment you experience this the most this time where you experience this the most this this alarm I should be afraid or scared there's danger but there isn't any danger I want to be calm the time that you experience this the most three Two, one, you're there now. Yes, what is happening now? I'm in the gymnasium when they announce for the ambulance. Yes, continue. And I, I'm anxious and scared because I know it's my dad. I know it's for my dad. And I'm, I'm yeah. afraid he's going to leave. Yes. I'm afraid he's dying. Yes. Continue. Allow you feel, allow your body to feel everything. Continue. What else is happening? As, as you're afraid that he's going to. I don't know what's happening and I'm, I'm just confused. Yes. There's like. My dad's friend telling us they're taking him to a different hospital that he was worse. Yes. Um, there's. There's sirens and lights flashing. Yes. And my mom, how does it pay any attention to me or try to calm me? She doesn't even like know I'm there. I don't know what to do when my brother goes with her. Yeah. I'm scared. Yes, feel all of that. What has been the most difficult moment of this experience? With your father. I don't know what's going to happen. Very good. Just crying. Yes. Sad. And I'm, yes. I'm just. It's like, it's like somehow deep, I think I feel him leaving. Mm -hmm. I think I can feel him actually leaving. Very good. I know he's going, and I can't do anything. That's it. I don't understand it. 
like he's in this room in the hospital yes. I just watch everybody and try to figure it out yes. I try to figure out what's going on by watching my brother's sister and mm -hmm. how my mom and my aunt and uncle come, my other grandpa comes, I just watch. Yes. And they're all scared. Yes, and how are you feeling? Yes. Just kind of observing. Observing. And during this time, at the gymnasium, when there was an announcement for the ambulance, and you, you knew it was for your dad, and you're crying, and sad, and you you don't understand it. Where is your soul while all of this is happening? It feels like. It's bigger than me. Yes, it gets bigger than you. So does he feel that he's with you or or outside? I think it's both. It's both, right? Very good. So now I want you to talk to that part of your soul that left that day because she was afraid, because she was sad, because she couldn't understand. But to ask her to please come back. This is a part of your soul that left. I must still be there trying to make sense of all of this. I must still be trapped in that memory. Explain to her that this happened many years ago, that she's going to be okay, She's hiding. And she's hiding, right? Yeah. So talk to her. Ask her to please come back. You, you need to be together. You need to feel complete. You yeah. cannot feel lost or you, that you're missing something. Talk to her. She's afraid to come back because she's afraid to come back to that. Yes. How old are you there? I think so. um, I don't know, till 10 or 11. Yes. So explain to her that your dad is not going to die in that event. Explain to her what grandpa told you. That you understand that it's only the body that dies in the, the spirit, but that your father is not going to go away yet. That is not his time. That this is part of your process anyway. Tell her That's whatever she, she, you feel she needs to know to feel safe. To tell her that I've that my brother just told me that he suspected he did he did die he did go yes and I told him that it was so beautiful it was light and warm and a beautiful place mm -hmm. Uh, he came and he back. told him that he he came back because of, came back for me. Yes. So isn't that beautiful? Wouldn't that be a reason to be happy that your dad decided gave all of that up, this beautiful place, this light, this warmth, just for you? So then you should feel happy about that and honored for that. Yeah. 
So tell, tell that part of your soul that in order to honor your father, if he came back for you, that part of your soul should also come back for you. Mm. I also need to come back to receive it. As if you come back, you're not going to go to that moment or place you can come back and receive that incredible love. Very good. What? Okay. Mm -hmm. Yes. And once she is ready, just open a space in your heart and bring her back to you. Mm -hmm. Integrate with her now and feel complete. Let me know once she is back. It feels like she's getting like reacquainted. Yes. Mm. She's home. She's home. Very good. And now having that part of your soul back with you. Now I am going to count from three to one. And I want you to go to the first time you experienced all of the things is being crying, sad. You feel that someone was leaving and you, you didn't understand it. Go back to the first time you experienced this. Allow your soul to go wherever it needs to go. Three, two, one. You are there now. If you know, even if you think you're making it up, where are you now? Hmm. Yeah. There's some uh, horse. There's a horse. Continue. I don't know if I'm riding it or someone else's. Yes. Mm -hmm. Or if it's just a horse mm -hmm. leaving me. It's a horse leaving you. Continue. Somehow, somehow a horse is. I don't know. I just it's. Yes, and, and you don't have to know. Don't try to make sense of that. It's just a horse going just away. Just like a horse that. And how I, I think maybe it's dying. That's it. And look down to your feet. What are you wearing? Boots. Boots. Mm -hmm. And what are you dressing? It feels Western. Mm -hmm. Very good. Do you have a male or a female body? I feel like it was both. Yes. Like it. Yes, very good. Like, like I don't know if it's separate times or if it's like male and female. Very good. Doesn't matter. So what happens next? Continue. And you see this horse dying. What is happening? Feels like my soul is leaving. Mm -hmm. Continue a little bit more. What happens next? Hmm. I don't 
too. It's like the yes. it's like the soul of that horse is me or we're more like one. Yeah. But he's going away. And as so move to the moment to see if this horse dies. It's yes. not, I thought it was running away from me, but it's not. No. It's just dying. Mm. It's, it's like my everything. Mm -hmm. It's like my friend, my companion, my my transportation, my... It just feels like it's my everything. It's yeah. like, who understands me? Very good. And as you, this companion is leaving you, what are your reactions? I think I'm sobbing, but I also just feel really empty. I just feel alone. Mm -hmm. Like I'm all alone. I don't I I have no one or nothing else. What do I do now? Mm -hmm. What am I going to do? I don't know what to do. Very good. And now I want you to see how this all is affecting your life as baby when you say, I'm, I am sobbing, I feel empty, I'm all alone, I have no one else. What do I do now? What is this all making you do in your life as BB? Yes. It's like keeping me. Oh, it's like holding me in place. Mm -hmm. It's like I never left that place. There we go. I just stayed there. I'm still there. Mm -hmm. And what does that prevent you from doing in your life as baby? Living. Mm -hmm. It's like... It prevents me from... Just moving, moving forward. Very good. Stepping out of that place. It's like my feet are glued. Very good. So now, I am going to count from three to one. When I get to one, I want you to move to the next significant event in the life of that of that man or a woman with a horse. Three, two, one. You're there now. If you know what is happening now. I'm just on this land. I mean, it's almost literally like I didn't, I never left. Mm-hmm. How do you feel? Never left. Almost like I just stayed right where that horse died. Mm-hmm. I never left that piece of land or that, not even the piece of like, it's almost like I never left that spot. Mm -hmm. Very good. And now I'm dying. 
and what's happening to your body as your, your body is dying. It just feels like I'm old and like I, <laughs> almost like I'm just rotting. Yes, what part of your body starts to die first? My heart. Your heart. As your body is dying, what happens to the heart? The heart just stops beating. Yes, and as the heart stops beating, what happens to the lungs? They just kind of slowly collapse. Yes, as the lungs collapse, what happens to the brain? Feels like it keeps like like it doesn't turn off, it keeps mm -hmm. it's almost like it's not connected. It's not connected. Mm -hmm. So the heart like it doesn't know. Like I'm, I'm going, I'm leaving alone. I am leaving alone. Mm -hmm. Wherever I'm going, I'm alone. But I'm leaving the body. Very good. So just allow that body to die. Understanding that with the death of that body, that experience is over forever. And none of this belongs to you anymore. Just contemplate that dead body. It's like I see the body and the of the horse and mm -hmm. my body just sort of disintegrate together in yes. that place. Yes. So now that you are out of your body, just talk to the soul of your horse, what would you like to tell that soul? I just want to know why you left me. Like, why did you leave? Is he replying back? He couldn't wait for me. Mm -hmm. What do you think your soul had to learn in that life? The first thing I heard was that I was never really alone. Never really alone. Mm -hmm. I didn't get it. So what do you think you had to learn? That you were never really alone? Yeah. I had to thought that I was, if I stayed with that body, yes. I'd be with the whore, I wouldn't be alone. But the horse wasn't there. I wasn't alone, the soul was still with me. Yes, very good. But I didn't see it. Mm -hmm. So I want you to check something else that you said. As your body was dying, I am living alone. Mm -hmm. What is that making you do in your life as PV? Mm. It's, it's making me feel like I'm still always alone. Like I have to do things myself. 
by myself. I'm still alone. Mm -hmm. What is that preventing you from doing? Like letting others in? No. Um, like living, like it's preventing me from fully living. Erica. It's like I came back to the same place. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> Erica. So now I want you to Heal the body, that the body that is there. You said that the brain kept going and it disconnected from the heart. Mm -hmm. I want you to reconnect it. I want you to reconnect the brain to the heart, the heart to the brain. And put, the, put them in sync. The brain reconnected to every nerve in the body every muscle. We connect the brain to the body, and the body to the brain and the brain to the heart. It is all reconnected now. It's like it's almost like plugging it back in. Mm -hmm. Very good. It's like the heart sort of floods the brain. Can you repeat? It's like the heart is. It's almost like it's flooding the brain mm -hmm. with... Very good. Like, I don't know if it's like new blood. Mm -hmm. And make the work in sync. Yeah, it feels like it's nourishing the brain. Like... Um, like just like like a good fat like that helps the brain like it's just pumping yes. life and nourishment into it very good very good fills it up like it feels like it's going from like bones are barren to like rich mm, it's like the brain thought it has to do everything alone mm -hmm. realize the heart was there to do to, to be together that's it yes wow like the heart also says you you follow me i'm i'm the lead you don't you don't have to work so hard very good yes so let me know once they are reconnected once they are in mm -hmm. sync Almost like the brain drops into the heart. Mm -hmm. Okay. I think it's connected now. Very good. So now, once you're ready, just get your energy from that body. and take your soul to the light. Mm. 
Getting away from that body. Getting away from that life. Taking your soul to rest now. Let me know once you're in the light. There. Very good. So now we'll count from three to one. <clears throat> when I get to one, I want you to move forward to the time you are in your mother's womb. The life that is gonna have us be. Three, two, and one. You're there now. You can imagine this time. You can remember this time. Be there in this dark and moist environment. During this moment. You're connected to your mother's energy. You can feel what she feels. You can think what she thinks. You're just one. So at this moment, you're in your mother's womb. What is your mother feeling? What is she nervous about? What are the first few words that come from her? What is she nervous about? She's nervous about... She's nervous if she's too old, if mm -hmm. she can have a healthy baby. That's it. Well, she feels nervous about being too old because she wants a healthy baby. How do you feel? I don't like I'm healthy. Mm-hmm. But how do you feel when she feels nervous? Nervous. Nervous, right? Now move forward to another significant event during the time your mother's womb. Three, two, and one. You're there now. What is happening now? Yes. I think my I think my brother broke his arm or something. Mm-hmm. I see. Just like he got hurt, maybe in football. Mm-hmm. How is your mother feeling? Worried. Mm-hmm. How your mother is feeling worried? How are you feeling? Worried. Mm-hmm. Very good. So once again, move forward to the time in your mother's womb. To another important event. Three, two, no, one. You're there now. What is happening now? Something with my grandparents. Mm -hmm. What are your grandparents saying? I don't know. I think they're in Denmark. Mm -hmm. Visiting. Yes. I don't know what happened. How is your mother feeling about this? Sad, maybe? Mm -hmm. I don't know. Scared? I'm not sure. How do you feel when your mother is feeling this way? 
I feel like it amplifies. I feel like I feel like there's a um, like an amplifier, like whatever she's feeling out there. I feel like it's like you turn up an amp, and I feel it. Um, like I feel it even more. Yeah, that's it. Yes. So what is she feeling now? Now that your grandparents are in Denmark. I don't know what's happened, but something that makes her concerned for them or yes. worried about them. And how do you feel when your mother is feeling that? I just, I feel the same thing mm -hmm. she feels, but it, it it's almost like I feel it more, but I think it's I'm just more aware. I may be more aware of her feelings than she is. Very good. And it feels like, and it just feels like mine, like, yes. like they're mine. So up to here, what has been the most difficult moment during your time in your mother's womb? It's feeling what she feels. What does this make you do in your life now, baby? The same thing. Mm -hmm. Just like rounded shoulders. I, I, I go like like I contract. I do. I I get small. I feel alone. Mm -hmm. What does this prevent you from doing in your life? Being who I am. Mm -hmm. Very good. Like saying what I know is true and what I believe. I just keep quiet. Mm -hmm. I don't share anything. Just hold it all in. And then it feels like I'm alone. Yes. So now I'm going to count from three to one. When I get to one, I want you to feel your mother's contractions. You're going to start being born. Allow your body to feel everything it needs to feel to complete this experience. Three, two, one. Start feeling these contractions now. And what are you feeling as your mother is having the contractions? Just squeezing. Very good. Feel your head and your shoulders. What is happening to your shoulders to your back? Like they, they just, they just like squeezed. They kept to move them. Yes, that's it. Continue a little bit more. Keep coming out. And I want you to pay attention to everything that is happening outside. Yes, continue. What else is happening? Um, I don't know. It feels yes. anxious. Anxious, right. Like, what makes you feel anxious? Like the people that are there, on like outside, like the ones waiting or in the hospital, like the, the ones I'm coming out to. It's yes. They feel anxious. What are they saying? What are they doing? I don't know. It's almost like they're worried I'm not coming out right or. I if see. I'm going to. I don't even think it's that I'm not. It's like they're afraid I might not. Yes, and how does that make you feel? Scared. Scared. Very good. What is your mother feeling as you're coming out? I 
I don't know. I think she's numb. She's numb. Is she asleep? I'm not sure. Yes. She might be. Yes. Just move to the moment you're out and tell me what do they do with you? What do they take you? They spank me. They hit hit me. Yes. And what are you feeling as you're doing that? Like, I'm like, why would you do that? Yes. Are they able to take you to your mother? No. Where do they take you? Take me away. And how do you feel as you're being taken away from your mother? I wanna, I wanna be with her. You wanna be with her, very yeah. good. Just move to the moment. They take you to your mother. Let me know once you're there. Mm -hmm. You're there, she's holding me. Very good. Now the first thing I want you to do is I want you to ask your mother to give you the energy she was not able to give you when you were born because you were taken away. This feminine energy, this motherly energy, ask her to give it back, to, to give it to you. Mm -hmm. Give me that energy back. Very good. And put that energy in your soul. Mm -hmm. And have all of these emotions you've been feeling in the womb, in your mother's womb. Which of those emotions belong to you or which ones to your mother? They're all hers. They're all hers, yes. So I want you to talk to her. I want you to tell her that today you're giving her back all of those emotions that didn't belong to you to begin with. This sadness, the anxiety, concern, feeling worried, afraid that you were not going to be healthy. All of that belongs to her and you made it yours when you didn't have to. Mm. Say, Mom, I was okay. I've always been okay. I was healthy. I was peaceful. I was happy. Yes. I was really happy there. You provided the warmth and the love when you weren't worried. And in the few moments that you would just be pregnant. It was beautiful. Yes. I just wanted to give you back all of that. Worry and anxiety and concern. Very good. Just take it and change it into the light where you are now. Very good. And tell her that you, lo you will love her forever. That you will be there for her, but. You cannot be carrying all of these emotions that do not serve you anymore. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I can't carry them anymore. I have to give them all back to you, Mom. Take them. Give me them all back. Disconnect. Mm. And you're free now with no influence. None of those emotions are with you anymore. And you feel free. Very good. 
now I want you to go back to this field with tall grass and flowers. Just walk in this field, recharge your energies. And I want you to pick a color, pick a frequency. What color would you like to use today? Yellow. Yellow, very good. So I want you to get this yellow frequency. I'm going to start putting this yellow frequency all over your body. Starting from the top of your head. At the same time, you're going to harmonize your chakras. Going down to your brain, removing any programming that doesn't belong to you anymore. Down to your throat, so you're able to open your throat and express yourself with no issues. Say what you want to say, do what you want to do opening your heart, reconnecting again the brain to the heart, the heart to the brain. When the brain makes a decision, the heart follows, or when the heart makes a decision, the brain follows. Down to your solar plexus, and your root chakra now, your entire body is vibrating in this frequency. In a moment, I am going to count from one to five, as I count, I want you to start coming up the stairs. With each step you take, you're gonna feel lighter, happier, refreshed, with renewed energy and purpose now. One, <clears throat> start coming up. Two, disconnect any emotions that do not belong to you anymore. Three, from now on, you're going to feel calm. You're going to feel confident. From now on, you will be able to start. You will, you will be able to finish what you start. You're no longer trapped next to the body of the horse. Four. Every night you put your head on the pillow, you will sleep peacefully until the next day when you wake up in the morning you will feel totally rested and refreshed, super happy, ready to come back as the happiest woman on this planet. And five, open your eyes now, little by little. Coming back. Welcome back. Thank you. You're welcome. How do you feel? I feel like like there was such peace with my grandpa. Mm -hmm. And the soul of that horse, which was weird. <laughs> Interesting, right? <laughs> okay. Um, yeah, I mean, I just feel like, okay, like, oof, like. <laughs> you, you understand the origin of this anxiety and concern. Yeah, it's like, just let all of that go. That wasn't, like, that's home. Mm -hmm. The peace, the peaceful place, like that. Wow. I go, I go to the horses all the time. Oh, you see? Okay. At the Greenway. 